Now this illustration deals with eccentric or concentric knockouts in accordance with NEC 250.97 exception. Now notice in the illustration uh, to your left at the very top, notice that we have threadless fittings. Now these threadless fittings could be compression type uh, connectors, uh, could be uh, set screw connectors and, and so forth. The illustration to your right shows a listed fitting. Listed fittings could be two lock nuts uh, with one of them self bonding with a screw or two regular standard lock nuts with a bushing that has a screw that bonds into the conduit to make a good tight connection. The illustration to the left bottom there, uh, we could use just one lock nut in a set screw connector, and that would be okay. The illustration to the right now shows two lock nuts with a bushing, just two regular lock nuts and bushings. Now, in the boxed-in information, the information talks about bonding for over 250 volts to ground for 250.97. What could be used is listed there in the four bullets. We just looked at the illustration, but here's the information as it appears in the code book when you look at 250.97 exception, grounding bushings. Number two, a grounding wedge may be used only if no uh, knockout rings are left in the enclosure and wall around the conduit. Number three, threaded connections, threaded couplings, uh, threaded conduit and so forth. With two lock nuts, one inside, one outside of enclosure, a bushing used over the inside uh, uh, lockout. Or, and, and then notice that that uh, deals uh, with uh, four bullets. So the final bullet then talks about two lock nuts, one inside, one outside of the uh, enclosure uh, bushed over the inside uh, knockout to uh, provide a smooth uh, surface to pull the insulated conductors uh, through. So uh, this illustration 16-101 deals when you have eccentric or concentric knockouts and you're applying the exception to the NEC 250.97. Now notice we're not talking about here now where we have a very clean hole. We're talking about that we have concentric or concentric knockouts. For example, we may have one inch concentric or eccentric knockouts and you would uh, take a three quarter out and leave the one inch. That's what this section is talking about. And then notice as long as it's uh, uh, 120, uh, 208, 120, 240, or 120, then uh, notice that we do not need to bond uh, around this equipment. It's only when it's 277, 480, that you really want to look at NEC 250.97 as well as the exception. And that's what I figured 16-101 is illustrating.